a new use for Saddam Hussein's palace. When does a museum opening attract global attention? When it is in Iraq, in Saddam Hussein's former lakeside palace. The museum, located in a former palace of Saddam Hussein, is the culmination of an eight-year project. A new museum is trying to change all that. Located in the oil-rich city of Basra in southern Iraq and filled with antiquities from the country's rich history, Basra Museum, which opened its doors on September 27, 2016, is the first museum to open in the country in decades. But it's where the museum is located that is also making headlines, Saddam Hussein's former lakeside palace, a mock Rococo structure that's one of nearly 100 opulent residences the former dictator built during his reign. Kat and Al Obad, the museum's director, told the Associated Press he deliberately chose the location to replace the themes of dictatorship and tyranny with civilization and humanity. Only one exhibit, which displays artifacts over 2,000 years old, has currently opened. The museum is the culmination of an eight-year project to tell the history of southern Iraq and help spark a cultural revival in Basra. Because of a shortage of funds, only one exhibit has opened, a gallery displaying artifacts dating back more than 2,000 years, including silver coins minted in Basra, pottery, coffins and tiles. When complete, the museum will encompass three further halls exhibiting 3,500 to 4,000 objects from Iraq's Babylonian, Assyrian, Sumerian and Islamic periods.